We're here with Dan Martin, just straight after finishing uh, the Elite Men's Road Race. Dan, how did it go? Finished in the front group. Fantastic result. Yeah, I'm a big surprise actually. I mean, yeah. Are we timing it? Time? I have to remember I broke my back eight weeks ago, you know, so it's. Uh, oh, I got diagnosed with broken back eight weeks ago, so it's. Uh, yeah, just to be on the start line was an achievement, I think. And yeah, I've, I've been feeling really, really tired and run down the last. It's been a really long, hard season. So uh, yeah, I really, I didn't even expect to. Well, I hope to finish the day. So to be in the front group is actually a really big surprise. Fantastic. I mean, a great performance from the team as well. I mean, Sean and Connor in the break, they did a really great job, They're, like flying the flag out there, and then yeah, uh, yeah, kind of put, put me in position for when it really started to get hard in the in the end. And yeah, Ryan and Nicholas also, like we all rode, a, we had a, rode a great race as a Brilliant. team. And, uh, no, it's just great to have five riders in the in the pro race. I think for the, for the yeah, first time. And, absolutely, um, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's it's really uh, it's a really good performance from the whole team on a course that didn't really suit us. Guys. Yeah, yeah. How was it? the course? Was it different to what you expected? Like it was at first it was predicted to be a bunch sprint, but it wasn't a big bunch coming into the line there. I think it was twenty six finisher fit at the, in the front group. Yeah, it's. Uh, I expected it to be a big bigger group. To be honest, I mean it's kind of yeah. it's a strange circuit. It's like it's really. It was like, yeah, 5k really hard, and the rest of the lap you weren't really, weren't really pedaling. So it was oh, really, yeah. really, really fast all day. Yeah. And uh, especially when we, the race really started with, I think, four laps to go. Yeah. Five laps to go, it was the, with the pace really hot up, and it was, uh, yeah, very, very fast. So it's, yeah. Uh, but yeah, it was just that if there's, if there's a gap at the top of the climb, it was going to be really difficult for the group to come back, and that's what happened, you know? There's yeah. a split at the top. And, it's uh, luckily I was just about the right side of the split, but then the last 5k I really I couldn't even move from the back of the groove. My legs were just like jelly, and then in the sprint, yeah, yeah I was just. And so those guys are gone sprint anyway, but today yeah. like, my legs were so bad that so I just couldn't even like could barely even cross the line. And I was I was happy to do that. <laughs> it's pretty good, group, you know. But yeah, yeah. yeah I, it, it shows that I've worked hard the last few weeks, and uh, so, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's been a long season. Just prepare for next year's world now. It's just a bit better. Yeah, yeah. I was just going to say the circuit was just announced there a few days ago, but the, uh, next year's worlds it looks like a good one for you. Or are you looking that far ahead yet? Yeah, we'll see. I mean, we'll uh, just have to try and yeah get yeah. the world in a bit better shape next year and uh, yeah, don't uh, a bit less tired. You know, it's been a really long hard season yeah. this year, so it's uh, I'm looking forward to having a big good rest and a new Brilliant. team as well next year. And uh, yeah, we're going to be. Yeah, super. Well, thanks a million and well done today.